If you're on the Interstate 40, uh, going around the north part of Memphis, Tennessee, you'll see the famous St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital. It was started by its founder, Danny Thomas. You simply take Danny Thomas Boulevard off of I-40 and follow the signs. Now we've just went through the gates at the hospital and now we're in the parking lot of the hospital. This was a dream come true for the nightclub performer, actor, and producer, Danny Thomas. This building here in front of you with the gold dome is a pavilion that is also housed, it also houses the remains of Danny and his wife of 55 years, Rose Marie Thomas. Uh, that was also paid by the Thomas family. This life, long dream of Danny's, opened its doors in 1962. The wonderful thing about this Children's Cancer Research Center is that Danny insisted that no child will ever be turned away for lack of ability to pay. When they opened in 1962, the survival rate for children with cancer was only 20%. And now, thanks to this center, it's over 80. Now, Danny passed away in 1991 with a heart attack at 79 years old. And he was laid to rest here at his own request. His wife, Rose Marie, continued his work with St. Jude until her death in the year 2000. And she was 86 years old. Danny and Rose Marie lie behind these iron gates. Danny was born the 6th of January, 1912, to Lebanese immigrant parents. Now this is the Thomas family with Danny, Rosemarie, Marlo, Terry, and the baby is Tony. This memorial gardens is dedicated to the parents and hospital staff so that they can have a peaceful place to rest. <laughs> 